Hey guys, this is uh, Larry from um, Fun Chess, a bad player, that's me. Uh, today uh, I'm playing black and uh, it's going to be a short game, a uh, very quick victory. Let's take a look. Okay, so <clears throat> um, I'm clearing my pawn out here so that my bishop uh, can target the uh, g4 square. And uh, what I'm hoping to do is kind of my black go-to move is to um, bring my knight up to the f6 square and then again up to the g4 square and then hopefully I'll um, pick off this uh, pawn here preventing as I've done in other games preventing the uh, preventing white from being able to castle. Uh, that's the plan, but it doesn't always work that way. So uh, let's let's see what happens. Okay. Well, okay. Uh, by white moving his uh, pawn up here to the uh, f3 square, he's pretty much prevented me from being able to go to my go-to move. So I'm going to have to try something else. Okay, I'm getting ready to castle. And there it is, I've castled. Um, as you can see, white is very aggressive with uh, pawns. Uh, hmm, a little bit threatening. Okay, I've moved my bishop to the uh, b6, uh, sorry, b7 square there. And um, <clears throat> I'm anticipating white castling on this side. And uh, I like for this bishop to um, be focused all the way up the board to this area here uh, so that I can attack more easily. Okay, let's chase that knight back. And I've cleared my, my uh, rank here so that um, my two rooks and my queen are unified. So that's nice and strong. Yeah, uh, it looks like white is getting ready to castle over here. Huh, interesting. So, a very strong pawn structure going all the way down into the middle of the board. Uh, but <clears throat> on the other hand, white is a little bit... Uh, can't really do much up the board. The pawns are um, blocking off a lot of uh, other avenues. So, hmm, I'm not sure how aggressive white can be with this structure like this. Okay, so we're uh, exchanging bishops here, and I'm going to take that with my rook. Okay. I just protected this rook <clears throat> with this one. Uh, the, it was under attack uh, from the queen. And um, <clears throat> the other interesting thing here now is that uh, white can castle on either side. I mean, I'm pretty sure should castle over here on, on the left simply because um, it would have the most protection, wouldn't it? Um, but look at that. Yeah, what a surprise. 
I don't know. I don't. I don't know how clever that was. Uh, I don't know what uh, White was thinking on that move with that move. Well, it's full steam ahead now. I'm going to just try to smash my way up the board. I'm going to have to sacrifice uh, one of these rooks, but uh, I don't know. White doesn't look like it has uh, many options. <clears throat> Okay, um, what's white going to do? Okay, so um, I think this move here was moving, moving this rook all the way up over to the other one. They're protecting one another. Um, it leaves this space open for the king to escape to if it needs to. And um, now I've, <clears throat> excuse me, I've cut off this escape route if the king does decide to go that way. Hmm, interesting. Uh, looks like white wants to exchange queens with me, but uh, in doing so, um, this king now has nowhere to go. I'm going to bring my uh, rook up the board. Got check. And um, white can't move here. The only place white can move, obviously, is here. But uh, that's a step away from checkmate. And there it is. Game's over. That was uh, a pretty... Pretty satisfying victory for me. Um, I did it without going to my go-to move, uh, which is to prevent white from castling or black from castling. And uh, the ironic thing is when white did castle, it kind of played into my hands. A very satisfying victory. So, yeah. Um, thanks for joining me. And... See you again. Thanks a lot.